that's what it is. It's not this line. You know, you open a book and look at. It's not the lines. It's in between the lines. What you're looking for is there, not this line or that line. Those lines, they're referring to that which is not explainable, that which you cannot write. And it's there. And that's where the beauty of the teaching of the master, of the guru, of the messenger comes. Because that part, we somebody who's already gone there is going to have to tell you, look over there. Because otherwise, there's, it's literally impossible. It only happened to maybe a few people in the entire history of mankind. Trillions of trillions of trillion people came and left. Maybe a few of them discovered it on their own. The rest, we need someone to point it out to us because that's where it is. And that's what happened for me. Papaji had to point it out to me. That what does it mean that I'm nothing, yet I'm everything? And that's the truth of who you are. Hi, Jesse, you have another question? Or this is, yeah, hi. Yeah, I can hear you. So when I ask the question, who am I? The deeper answer that comes to me, I guess, in other times is infinite possibilities, which is an exciting thought. It's just kind of anything that I can think of, I can have or become. Um, I've started working a lot with energy. I went to Landmark like six years ago. Are you familiar with Landmark? To a certain point, yes. So it, it does a, a good job of, uh, I guess, getting rid of the ego. So I felt that bliss, um, and it lasted for a long time, several months, and a whole lot of silence inside, um, a whole lot of uh, no thoughts going on. It was mm -hmm. just blank. I did find it to be a little bit boring at the time. I wasn't spiritual at all mm -hmm. six years ago. I found it to be kind of boring. Um, what kind of boring? What kind of boring? Um, I wasn't entertained the way I, I was used to being entertained. Everything that was going on in normal life with family members or friends, they, everything they talked about was boring and no interest. In okay, hold on a second. I'm sorry. Let me see if I understand. You're, are you... Ref not silence or the bliss was boring. The family, entertainment yeah. or conversations, yes, all of it. Yes, my life felt boring. Right. Yes, that's very natural. And so then I'm, I'm kind of the question I've been asking for the last six years is what am I supposed to do with my life? I can, I can go back to that place if I can find it again. I don't have the same peace I had then, but, but then what am I supposed to do? That's the question. Mm -hmm. just right, me. right, right. This is great. It's a wonderful place to be. Congratulations. You're, you're at almost in graduation point to go to the next level if you're asking that question. All of us are either going through it or have gone through it. That's one of the steps of the path. On this, on this journey. What am I going to do? What is my mission? And if that comes up for you, know that you're exactly at the right place. As confusing as it seems to be, that is one of the steps in the ladder to a higher consciousness of being bewildered into this place that what is my mission? It may even take 10 years, 15 years. Or it may take a year or six months. But know that this is one of the steps. So you're in the right place. I don't know how much <laughs> of comforting that answer is to you. But your heart is pure and you have a deep love of spirit, God, realization. 
So that which has brought you to this point is responsible for taking you further. So don't beat yourself up if you're not finding out the answer. It's certain, I guarantee you, normally a lot of times I don't give any guarantees, but it will reveal itself to you. Just stay on the course and keep doing what you're doing. Means mainly be quiet. Practice being quiet and it will reveal itself to you. You're on the right path. Okay. okay. Yes, could I ask one more question? Okay. Yes. Depends how long is the answer, but go, go ahead and ask it, and we'll see if we have time. Uh, my other question is, I deal, I'm working a lot since becoming spiritual with energy work um, within myself, learning how to, I get, I, um, recently I think I activated, or I did activate the kundalini energy. Mm -hmm. um, so since starting working with you, I've been experiencing a lot more energy while mm -hmm. I'm meditating. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's ascension symptoms or something. Right. I if you, and... If you how, lo how long has it been that we've been together? By at least six, seven days. Okay, so so in past seven days that you've joined in, you're feeling tremendous amount of energy, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what and so what was the last part of your question? Um, it's 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 causing me to think a lot about it. So we're, you're talking about silence and being still and. And I'm wondering if it's the same thing to be silence because I'm just observing all of this going on in my body. And it feels like silence, even though it's, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of entertainment, and yet there's not really a, a thought. I'm, I'm just being entertained at what's happening in the body. Yeah. The mind, I don't know if you remember, I've said it a few times, or anybody remembers, I said the more you're silent, the more you're quiet, the more you dive, your attention goes to the witness and the mind becomes quiet, the, you're activating the grid, or the grid is getting activated, the more energy appears, it starts to show. Because what happens is the person that thinks is doing things is getting out of the way. It's getting illuminated. It's in the dissolution of who you think you are. It's in the disappearance of the idea of yourself as a separate entity, as someone separated when you're becoming quiet, the idea of someone separated and is in charge begins to disappear. So it's getting out of the way and the energy starts, the presence begins to reveal itself. So you're becoming more of a pure conduit through not thinking, not having an idea, it's just simply being and then God starts to reveal itself. The presence begins to reveal itself. Tremendous amount of energy starts to come. So all kinds of things can happen after that. You make any sense? Yes, I don't know what happens after that. Still. Well, neither do I. I have no idea what's... <laughs> Who cares? It, whatever happens, it's in very good hands. 